All right, marriage. Should you guys combine finances or separate them? We've talked about that, but this topic right here is should you have combined or separate bank accounts? And so in my situation, we have separate accounts, but we combine our money. It just seems easier to manage that way um, rather than like one account. Everything goes in that account and we're dipping. We're both in there. Um, but we we combine all of our money. We say, all right, this much is going to investing. Keep this much for your spending. Me this much. If I even have any spending money, sometimes I just keep buying more stock. <laughs> but uh, that's kind of what we do. Kirby, I don't know if you have a different strategy, but um, that's the way I look at it. I still think marital finances should be combined but i don't think the bank account whether it's combined or separate really necessarily matters um all right so i'll just take you through my journey a little bit um when i when i first got married i thought i had it all figured out i thought it all figured out uh just just don't lose don't lose the house don't lose where you stay at i thought that was all marriage was and then uh as i evolved or let me tell the truth as my wife evolved me <laughs> uh i looked at i looked at it a, a different a total different way um when we had it just separated no accountability and and today when i hear it it still irks my nerves because it irks my nerves not because people say it is because i used to have that mindset when somebody's wife or husband buys something oh they spent their money or they spent oh they bought this no everything is we bought it the, I mean, that's how it is in, in my house. Everything is we bought it. No matter no matter what it is. Now, when it comes to bank accounts in general, we have it set up. Uh, it's kind of, I ain't going to say funky because it's not funky. Uh, so we have, and I'm just going to break down accounts. We have account, we just call it emergency. Uh, and, and we labeled that account emergency back when we was, you know, 100% strong on the Dave Ramsey plan. But that's where all the, could buy and savings go. We could buy in the savings. So my wife paychecks go to her bank account. My paychecks go to my bank account. And then we have set automatic, it's automatic transfers of how much money will go to different accounts. Then we have another account. We call it the cover account. The cover account is for the big ticket things, bills that come along. So for instance, I don't pay car insurance on a monthly basis. I, I just don't have time for that. So I pay it. What they give me is six months or a year. So I pay it on a six month basis. And then, so that's what the cover account covers. That covers, the cover account covers that. It covers my son's investment accounts, which we put him on the same plan that we're on. Index uh, mutual funds for him. Uh, he has a couple individual stocks that he like toying around with also, but that money goes there to him. We've had that account ever since he was born, but we contribute money to that. So all that stuff comes out of that account. And then, you know, we have, we have a couple other accounts, but that don't matter. But she has her own checking savings. I have my own checking savings. Of course, my own savings have nothing because I'm always trying to um, eat food with mine on a daily basis. But, <laughs> but yeah, but the thing is, is I want, or we want, uh, you know, her and me to have money just to be guilt-free with it. And what I mean guilt-free with it is, hey, if you want to go do something, just go do it. I don't, I mean, now if we're talking about what's in the, the joint accounts, then that's something we got to come to a consensus about. It's not a, that's, there's no if, ands, or buts with that. But on the only individual, you know, like, when she go get her hair done, I can't stomach. I, I don't have no hair. I can't stomach two, three hundred dollars for a hairdo that made me pass out. I can't see that. But she probably on the she she's probably on the same thing. Also, if she see my uh my bills going to the fast food restaurant, she'd probably slap the heck out of me. Also, so that that's what it is. That's that's how we do it, and it's always a team effort. Anything you know, big ticket, you know, items that gotta go. You know, that's just what happens um my wife don't well my wife will let me go sh grocery shopping but it's always a massacre uh because i'm not buying fruits and vegetables i refuse to go down that aisle not happening so my wife do, does the grocery shopping but when i go she know i'm just gonna go down every aisle and just throw everything in a basket and then just leave out so uh but that's just what we do i mean when it comes to 
when it comes to bills and stuff like that, it's the allocation. I mean, you know, the way way it's set up, the household bills is literally nothing. But it's allocation for that also. But when it could just come to checking savings and all that, it's a joint. And then separately, you go ahead and do whatever you want. Because I know she's going to spoil our kid. I don't even like the kid. Let's be honest. I don't like the kid. Uh, so, so of course, she got she going to do, do her thing with that on uh you know in her account and stuff like that but but that's just how i look at it but it's uh it's different for a lot of people but honestly combining finances is another life hack going along with just buying a car and just paying it off and not buying anything else and driving it to the uh wheels fall off that's another life hack because two incomes going into investment accounts is better than one income going to investment accounts think account grows faster um you can invest it can compound faster and then being on the same plan in the same journey is paramount to getting to what everybody wants everybody just want a secure life a secure life and unfortunately in america a secure life meaning having money to weather the storm when bad things happen because that's the only thing that's guaranteed to happen is bad stuff will happen no matter how much you think you have life planned out and think everything's gonna go perfect it's not but having the financial means to withstand those uh, storms or hurricanes that's going to come in your life is that's the key to it all. Alex, you got anything else on this one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, our structure is kind of similar. Um, like I have a checking account. She has a checking account. There's a savings account. And then the brokerage account. The brokerage account is the only one that's like really like uh, joint. But all of the money like i said we combine our finances so maybe it's just lazy on our part and we gotta just make each account joint um but we're all we're on the same page constantly like the savings account it's my name but she knows that like if something comes up she's like hey we need to pay for this or whatever i just send it to her but it's not like oh no sorry that's my money like i i don't we don't believe in any of that um the brokerage account i think we take more I, I think that's why we have a joint because it's like it's investments but technically like each account should be joint i just i've heard of couples where they have like one account and then all their money goes there and then that just seems confusing to me because it's like if you know like you said like imagine all like all your big bills all your emergencies and all your fun money coming out of one account like that would just confuse the heck out of me so we keep it separate but we really combine the finances as a whole we combine so that's right, that's alex i know i know your wife ain't worried about if the savings account in your name she knows it's a lock key safe on that account <laughs> ain't a penny gonna leave she, she ain't even worried about it I'm like, oh we ain't worried about him he ain't gonna die <laughs> for real exactly yeah I mean, and, and the, the funny part is, people, uh, everybody think I'm bad. My wife is Alex 2.0, or Alex is her 2.0. They're the same. I remember when uh, we moved to Florida, I put $100,000 in my wife's account. Eight months later, I come back, the account just gained interest. She did nothing with it. Like, nothing. It's like lock, key, safe. Oh, my. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing with it. So I just like, all right. And then that's when we started investing in real estate. We're like, all right, let's take this money and just go do something else with it. And then we started investing in real estate because it just wouldn't, she wouldn't do nothing with it. She's just like, yeah, it's in there. Yeah. You know, she's making an interest off of it, but it ain't, we yeah. know it ain't going to go nowhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we know it ain't going to, we ain't even worried about that. For real. Man, exactly. But with all that being said, guys, uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe. Leave us a comment down below and we'll see you guys in the next one.